Yeah, it's kind of crazy because uh, that's a fight I didn't really train very hard at all for that fight. I was like, I didn't really train uh, that hard. I was that was when uh, I was going. I split up with my daughter's mom and stuff when I was just going through a whole bunch of uh, personal stuff, and uh, I went on a high speed chase. Uh, six weeks before that or five weeks before that and uh i just wasn't in the right place but i went into that fight like mentally just like i'm not gonna lose this fight no matter what so it's more of like a mental thing than anything but i didn't i was like partying all the time and not doing what i should do and uh it's weird like sometimes you'll train like as hard as like super hard and then you'll lose and then you know this was the time this is probably the only fight in my career that I didn't really train and just screwed off and did this stuff that I shouldn't do and then I go out and like look really good <laughs> so Mac Danzig is like a real technical fighter he's very yeah. technical whether it's on the ground or standing up he's here Josh is clearly a type B guy. He opens up the box. He's going to put together whatever it is without reading the instructions. Danzig's the guy that carefully, meticulously reads every step of the instructions and kind of puts things together. And when you go up against somebody like Josh Neer, you tend to get bullied. And that's kind of what took place in that fight. Would you not agree? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I went into that fight just mentally. Like, it's like kill or be killed it's not like i don't go into that fight like that all the time but this fight for sure is just like sometimes you feel like when you don't have anything to lose that's when you're the most dangerous and that's how like mentally i was just like i don't have anything to lose like i'm just